Good morning, folks. We'll be diagnosing the solar eruption from yesterday, taking a look at a rare location earthquake, some deep space news, and a frigid weather run around the U.S. But first, let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star. The post-eruption recovery features lasted most of the day after the filament broke off. No more eruptive events and still no sunspots, which, as you'll remember, left these plasma filaments as the primary eruption threat. NASA's CME tracking has this one mostly missing Earth, but with the tail end possibly offering a glancing blow to Earth's magnetic field and the ambiguity comes in the satellite data, where the main burst is seen then a data dropout follows, but you can easily tell the shockwave extended past the zero longitude mark when the data comes back. There might be plasma incoming towards Earth, but almost certainly it's minor. No solar flaring without those sunspots, and as the solar wind drops, the KP does as well. Storm conditions are over for now, but another stream is incoming from the northern coronal hole, followed by one from the southern opening. Solar wind intensification early next week is likely. And as those coronal holes hit center disk yesterday, the lithosphere became active with above-average quakes straddling South America, but luckily, both far enough away from being a concern. Top article out today is about a star shedding off silicon oxide and aluminum oxide in its wind which means the star effectively chemtrails its entire solar system. Luckily, it's 375 light years away. The other major story of note is the cold. Snow records, cold records, way too early in the season, and it's shaping up to get much worse as La Nina is set in. Jet stream wobbles are on deck and polar vortex events are setting up to be a major concern this winter. Folks, you may have noticed that no major U.S. news outlets picked up the death of dark matter story. Least of all, the organization that took billions to go find it. Welcome to Honesty in Science. That'll be a big topic on today's podcast, along with the big series from this week, Where Are We Going? And while we usually begin our recordings of the podcast around 9.30 a.m. Eastern, today we'll be pushing that a bit back and hopping on the members' chat area to discuss things with many of you before hopping on to do the podcast. Website members... Come chat for a bit before the show. Coming up here, we've got wind maps followed by shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and involvement. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.